I'm Ryan from ExtremeTerrain.com and this is my review and installation of the Car Super Hoop fitting all 2007 and up JKs. These are available in three different finishes, the black that you see here, also a polished aluminum and a titanium powder coat so you can pick the color that best matches your build. Today we're going to talk through the installation of these steps which I am going to give a 2 out of 3 wrenches because this is more of a universal fit item. There is some drilling required to get these installed and you are going to have to give yourself around 2 hours to make sure you do this install properly but we'll talk more about the installation in just a second. We're also going to talk through the construction and a few of the features of these steps. A side step is great for helping you get in and out of your lifted or even stock height JK. However, some of you may not be interested in a full length tubular step and just want the part that you actually need. Now when you're installing a step like this, you do have to keep in mind that this is not designed to hold up to off-road abuse and because it does hang down so far, if you go off-road with this step on your vehicle, depending on the type of wheeling you do, there is a good chance that you're going to damage or break the step. But if you're somebody who stays on road, wants a very useful step but doesn't want that full width tubular step, this is going to be a really nice option to look at. Now, this is going to be a 20 inch step, the Super Hoop, which is going to be wider than the Car Hoop 2. So if you like this design, but you want something that's a little bit smaller, the Hoop 2 is certainly an option. But if you want that really nice wide stepping surface, this Car Super Hoop is going to be a better option for you. Now, overall, I think that this is a very well-built step, especially for the price. However, you do have to keep in mind, this is not for those of you who are going to take your Jeep off-road, and you do have to drill some holes to get these installed. So like I said, these super hoops are 20 inches wide, giving you a really nice large stepping surface, and because of the way these mount, drilling holes into the pinch seam, you can really put them anywhere you want along the Jeep. These are sold in a pair, so if you have a four-door, you want them for the front and the rear, get yourself two pair, and you can really mount them anywhere underneath the door that you want to make them a really comfortable stepping surface. These are a die-cast aluminum, so they're incredibly lightweight, but also very strong, and they're corrosion resistant. Even though they are covered with this textured black powder coat finish, if you were to get a scratch in this, you're not going to get rust like you would with mild steel. You'll still get a little bit of corrosion if you just have raw aluminum, but these aren't going to rust away like a mild steel step would if you scratch the finish. These have uh, a ridged surface on it, which is going to give you a lot of grip. It even comes up on the side here a little bit. So even in muddy, snowy, wet conditions, you're going to have a really solid step that'll help you get in and out of your Jeep. So as I said, you do have to drill some holes to get these installed, so I'm giving this a two out of three wrenches, and I would give yourself around two hours so that you can definitely measure twice, drill once. Anytime you're drilling holes in the body, you wanna make sure you get it right the first time, so take your time with this install. As far as the install itself goes, it is very straightforward. You have these brackets, two per step, that you're going to be installing on the pinch seam and the underside of the tub. The step will then bolt onto this bracket. And as far as where they go, again, it's, it's really up to you. You hold the step up, move it side to side. As long as there are no obstructions, there's no uh, bolts or wrinkles in the tub where you want to mount this bracket, you can really put it anywhere. The instructions are very clear on which ones of these holes you need to drill out to a 5 16 size. And then, as I said before, just use the included hardware to bolt your step onto the bracket once it's installed. So as far as tools go, you are going to need your traditional hand tools, your socket set, but you're also going to need a good sharp set of drill bits and a drill and a center punch to keep that drill bit from walking around when you're trying to drill the body. Anytime you're purchasing something that's aluminum, it's going to be a little bit more expensive than a steel version of the same thing. However, because of the benefits of using aluminum on a step like this, I think these are worth the price you have to pay. These come in at right around $150 for the pair of the steps. Again, they're aluminum, so they're lightweight, they are going to be strong, and they're not going to rust away if you do end up scratching the finish on them. So overall, for a step of this style, I do like them and I do think they're worth the price. Again, if you're somebody who's going off-road, I would recommend more of a rock slider that has a built-in step. Or if you're somebody who wants a smaller version of these, the Car Hoop 2 is available. However, if you want a nice large stepping surface, I think that this is a nice choice at a fair price. 
So if you're looking to add a step onto your JK to make it easier for you and your passengers to get in and out, but you're not interested in one of the more traditional full length tube steps and you don't need or want rocker protection, this is going to be an option that is lightweight and as long as you're okay with drilling, this is going to be a fairly priced alternative. So that's my review of the Car Super Hoop, fitting all 2007 and up JKs that you can find right here at extremeterrain.com.